Pro and Sunshine X here. Welcome back to Crash Landing, a map pack on the Feed the Beast launcher by Iskandar version 1.1.2. Last episode, we took steps to improving our character. We made a jetpack and uh, we started to work on enchants. Uh, I don't really like that system. I don't have really an easy way to get experience and... I don't know. It just seems like it's going to take forever to get enough experience to make that work. So we're going to not do that. <laughs> I might use it for some other thing later when I have a lot of experience for storage. I don't know. But what I am going to do instead is make the MFR auto enchanter. Um, but I think I want to make the presser first, I guess. Apparently, oh, don't give me stuff. Go away. You, nope. Oh, you can keep your salt. I don't want it. Uh, we're going to make a presser. Um, so we can start our soy cooking, or compress, I don't know, what do you call it? <laughs> um, I don't have any power in my kitchen. Hmm. Oh well. There you go. So we put uh, some soy. How much we got cooking over here? We got three whole soybeans. Look at all this garden though, it's just ready to be harvested. Uh, we put it in there. And, uh, you don't need anything. Wow, no power at all. <laughs> That's pretty silly. So we get soy milk and silken tofu. Tofu you can use just about in anything. It's crazy. So we can start making some butter. Whoa, that was a big explosion. Um, carrot soup. But we don't, we don't want unfulfilling light meals. Those are horrible. I think we're starting ready to get, uh, some hearty meals. Easiest way to search on those is just simply typing in hearty, right? And here's the hearty meals. There are, I think, one or two levels higher than this. Uh, oh, I don't want hearty morsels. I want hearty meals. Grilled cheese, uh, baked potato, or a meaty stew. I think we're going to go with baked potatoes. So we need that firm tofu that we got. We need, uh, oh, maybe not. What are you? Yo, you're a hearty light meal. That's probably plenty. So we just need a baked potato with some butter on it. Butter was tofu, saucepan, and salt. So I got that there. Let's get the peanut butter out. So that. We need some salt. And we're going to need that tofu. Hopefully it's done. Here we go. Take your... Come on, give me the milk. You can't shift click out of there for some reason? That's weird. All right, there's some butter. I need to cook some potatoes. Do I need to go harvest some potatoes? I do. Let's just cook them all. There's some other foods, but I like to kind of do a diversity, right? We've kind of exhausted the sandwiches. Let's let's do something different. So, bread. We need a piece of coal or charcoal for that. Got some right there. All right, cook me some. Oh, that's that's not what I wanted. Where are my potatoes? That's what I meant to be cooking. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. And I've got three of those. So I just combine it with butter, right? Yep. And how do I make this guy? It needs the firm tofu again, and then some cheese. Cheese is salt, soy milk, and a pot. Hmm. Let's make some cheese while we're at it then. So we can put you back up on the rack. We're gonna need some more salt. And we're gonna need our pot. It's the problem with the iron chests is these don't interact with them, which is a bummer. There's some cheese. Hmm, I would need three more soy meal to, uh, soy to make these really good potatoes. So let's butter our potatoes. Nice. Those give me... Ah, that's crappy. <laughs> Alright, we need to make it better then. Let's get some bone meal. Do I have any in here? Don't see any. Let's go put some cheese and salt on these potatoes. And a little bit of bacon, right? But we're going to use soy meat. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> ah. I got my system going in there. The auto sifter will see how it does. 
with as far as frame rate lag I'm getting a little bit I think when I look at it now that it's going like full blast all right this should be a ton of soybeans I just use a whole stack of bone meal bone meal it's not like I'm in short supply of it and throw these in the presser and we will come back well they go pretty fast Let's make our uh, auto enchanter. Auto enchanter right here from MF Fowler. Nope, that's the disenchanter. We want the auto enchanter. We're gonna need our machine frame, which I oh, it's spitting stuff at me. Stop. <laughs> Too close. Okay, got the machine frame, and that should be everything, actually. I've got collected everything else. So Auto Enchanter takes mob essence, and it takes power, and we got tons of that down here. Um, I don't really want to, I'm probably going to put it here in this area, but I don't really want to want to run power and mob essence at the moment. So I'm going to put it right here where I've got tons. Um, let's see. Let's put it, I need to connect to, I need to get over there, but this is all crowded and trapped. All right, we'll put it right here. All right, there's the power. Let's give it mob essence. It should be the, I guess the third in the line for mob essence. So let's do another output. Inventory will be the auto enchanter. Oops, not the not that kind of output. I need liquid output. Auto enchanter, liquids is blacklist. That's fine. And let's put it as the third. So that should get a little bit of goop. There we go. No, that's the auto spawner what I'm looking at. There we go. This guy. I have to kill some mobs first, I guess. Let's put our helmet in there. We want to give a level 30 enchant. Probably better to do books, honestly, but eh, oh well. Um, I have those eight buckets or 16 buckets that Landstrider gave me I could use. Oh, the grass is finally starting to spread over here. Oh, that's 27 buckets. Even better. I don't you remember I've got like hundreds here. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, how am I going to get them into there? Obviously, we're going to put it right here. And we're going to say over here. Trigger. In liquid input. Tanks. Reinforced tank. Put you there. Okay. I should use those. There we go. All right, it is enchanting. You see, it takes twenty-five ninety work, and that's a lot of my power, isn't it? What can I do to get more power? Probably nothing other than upgrade that. What are you? You can out 400 RF a tick. Looks like it is doing 400 RF a tick, and that's just so slow. All right. Well, don't throw my axe in the ground. We'll let our helmet enchant while we're uh, while we're doing some other stuff. Then let's come back over here and see if our Presser is processed, it has. So, on our potatoes, where are they? We will put some cheese and some tofu. What was the last piece? That should be it. No, what's going wrong here? Cheese and firm tofu. Oh, I gotta, uh, 
put it back in here. Firm it up a little bit. I forgot about that. All right, well then while that's going, let's check our water. Look, at, I want to show you something. Somebody finally taught me how to do this. Let's get this going. So if I hit hold down W and click, that'll move it from my inventory up here. And if I hold it again, it'll move it up there. Isn't that awesome? I can now just like start shift clicking things all over the place. All right. So the next thing then is to start making our weapon. In here, I've got uh, stuff on the ground. All right, guys, the next thing to do is to create our weapon. So I've got a few of the things. I have already have the large plate cast and the tough tool rod. I don't yet have the stone large sword blade cast yet. Um, let's go ahead and put this guy on. We need one of these. Let's go ahead and say, yep, make that. No, don't make two. Stop making two. Oh man. <laughs> I think it made two of them. I don't want you. I want one of these manual guys that I can control. Come off. I think I've wasted steel. Dang it. All right. Where is the steel in all of this? I swear there's more steel in here. Oh well. <laughs> Go into your barrels. Watch this. Oh, there, there was steel at the bottom. Okay, good. Hopefully more than that. Nope, that was it. Fifty-five twenty. Because I wasted so much. Um, can I melt down one of these? Let's well, let's actually make sure. Yeah, it did make. No, that was a stone large. I don't know. Maybe it didn't make one. Okay. Well, we need that. We need two of these. There's one. There's two. And now we need to get the steel out of here. That's probably going to break my auto crafting stuff, but can I do that? Cool. All of you come out. And I need some gold or aluminum brass, whatever I got. Uh, brass is... I always forget the recipe for brass. Aluminum to copper in a 3 to 1. So, 1 copper, 3 aluminum. Let's put you in there, just melt. We got all the steel out? We do. Cool. Save that steel and put this back here. And we want to make a stone large plate cast. Cool. All right, set that there, and let's go look at our potatoes. How are our potatoes doing? You cooked? No, oh, need you. It's silly, you can't shift click out of there. And uh, now. Put some firm tofu on there. There we go. Loaded baked potato. Now is worth four with four and a half. Sweet. <laughs> cool. Let's go ahead and eat one. Oh, goodness. Look how nice that was. That filled us up so very nice. And we can do that. Look at all this shift clicking, magic moving. Are you aluminum brass yet? Almost. 
I haven't used this very much because this fuel I brought when it was completely full and I've only used half of it this whole time. Just haven't made many uh, alloys. Come on. Melt, you copper. I see a copper. Sorry, that was pretty bad. There we go. Aluminum brass. Pour out on this guy. If there's any extra, I could just make ingots out of them. Oops. How many I got left? One more ingot. Okay, put all these back in here. And now I want you, and I can remove you. I should be able to put this right just on top. Oh, and if you guys wondered how I got the steel, that was in here. Uh, you do iron, cook iron here, but you put some uh, gunpowder, redstone, and sand, and it makes the steel. I think everybody knows how to do that, but look at all these drums working great. Uh, they're probably going to get backed up because I had a huge backlog of stuff here. And I just made my high oven taller, if you can't tell. There's now six inputs. Uh, and I'm not cooking anything right now, actually. So I should probably turn off this guy. And provide it another uh, block of charcoal. There we go. I'm everywhere today. <laughs> over here, over there, over there. And go ahead and start cooking some of those. But I like it. It just stores it here. These will these will hold plenty forever. I don't know why some of them have say seven and then switch. It's just really weird. Uh, but anyway, so let's see. We should be able to just go bonk. Yep. And that should make what we needed. Sweet. We got it. We can take this out. Put this uh, steel yeah, right over here in case we need it for something. Maybe repairing these tools. But now we should be able to go outside and craft uh, this guy, the cleaver. Not a stone cleaver. Use real parts, please. There we go. Awesome. We have a weapon, guys. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> We don't have to rely on our silly matak that doesn't level up when you hit with it. All right, you can go in there. I got so much soy milk now. I'm going to empty my inventory, guys, and then we're going to go into the city to do some fighting. All righty, guys, we are back. I'm down in the basement. Uh, I want to finish off enchanting my armor uh, before we head out. And I want to show you something real quick. You see my temperature gauge down there. I've got the white gauge and the green, but then I've got the little black and the yellow. Watch what happens when I close closer to this dynamo. It shoots way up until it's off the chart. So that dynamo there is very hot, so don't spend a lot of time by a dynamo if you know it's good for you. Um, I moved the battery over here, so it's still being charged by that really slow cable, but it can output directly to the auto enchanter on the right side, and that'll give the enchanter a super fast amount of energy. Uh, so let's go and see what we got. We got a... Unbreaking 3, Protection 3. That's pretty good. And uh, what's awesome about this also is it, when I upgrade to Diamond Armor, I can just use the Auto Disenchanter to take those two enchants off and uh, put them on my Diamond Armor if I like them or I don't have to. Now you can see I also got a uh, ball of moss here um, just with a chiseling some stone bricks. And uh, so that's ready to go on my cleaver as soon as it gets a extra modifier which should be pretty fast. Uh, but you can see now that the power is staying full. It's just, the mob essence is just a matter of time. Okay. Let's not hang out by that dynamo. It's really hot. I'm sweating. Okay, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to grab enchants on my boots and my pants. And uh, we will uh, grab some extra food. So I only got two potatoes right now. And then we will head out to the city, guys, next time you see me. Be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Here's the enchants we got. We got a protection four on our legs. Not bad. Pretty good. And I'm breaking three fire protection three on our boots. 
Um, okay, I guess fire protection would be pretty good if we're wearing our uh, jetpack and we overheat, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so while I'm gone, I'm going to do one thing. Uh, I figured out this. I went and watched Landstar's video again and figured out if you put this down to level one. I don't know, I have to click this a million times to get it to level one. That kind of stinks. And uh, put in glass bottles. You will get bottles of enchanting. And I've got all these extra bottles from my jelly. Using it on peanut butter. So that uses actually a lot of work. 250 work. That gives me a bottle of enchanting. So how fast is that draining mob essence? Right now I'm feeling filling that mob essence up from here. That doesn't seem to be draining at all. Interesting. Is that not s Why are you not uh, filling up? Does it only work from the top? I wonder if it only works from the top. All right, well, well, I'll remember to fix that when I come back. Because that's going to empty up pretty quick. Okay, I think it's time to sleep and then head into the city. After we get a little bit more water. My pet walrus, just hanging out. <laughs> All right, so uh, what do you need? Just one more. And let's get some water. And I think we are ready. Come on, fill up with water. I can break you, put you here. Will you fill up that way? I hate how these only work from top or bottom. I've got too many things on the top and bottom. Uh, whatever. Faster. <laughs> oh my goodness, so slow. Alright, once that is empty, another thousand, we're gonna just grab it. Alright, here we go. We are ready. After all that, so we've got our sword, let's go kill some mobs. I'm gonna start with these creepers out here. Get our jetpack on. I have to watch our temperature pretty close now. Oh, I probably need to figure out what the hover button is as well. Oh well, let's go kill this creeper. This is my uh, tree road to the city. <laughs> White trees. Ah, he disappeared. That's a mean creeper. What are you up there? Anything? Zombie. Pigman. Whoa, two hearts. Even with all that. Where you come from? Creeper? <laughs> you got owned, Creeper. Well, let's go up to the top. Ah, I need hover mode. Alright, no pigment for you. I'll grab this wool later. Nothing here, though. The top, let's go down a floor. Any chests? No chests? Come on. Just beds. Fake beds. Where's the pigman? You down there, pigman? Yeah, you down there. You can't get to me. There's a chest. What do we got? A golden apple. Nice. Bowl, dust, redstone. Sweet, I need that. That's awesome. That's a really good find, actually. Okay, and now we'll go to the bottom floor. We'll kill those two pigmen. Got to be a little bit careful with that. Come here, piggy. Oh, he's got an enchanted sword. Wow, he hit me from far away. They have kind of far attacks. I'm wondering if I should uh, use my gun on those guys. Because that kind of hurt. And then three hits on that thing takes him out. Dang it! 
Okay, well, where are we? I was slain. <sighs> we are in the holding area of our old ship. So I guess before it was crashed, we were smart enough to uh, create a bunch of shell constructors and save us, save our lives. Let's see, I need to put a... Well, no, don't get in there. What are you doing? Which one is making me? That one. Don't want to walk in there. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> let me... Let's let's look at this. If we go up here. We are... In the middle of the desert. City base a thousand meters away. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to make it. Oh, no. Should I sprint? Should I get Landstrider to come save me? Is anyone else on the server? I'm alone. Okay, so note to self, bring back a chest with something to the sink pot, or, or make my own sink core back in my base. Because this sucks. That was a giant pig man. Wow, he just owned me through my Invar armor. I was trying to, like, fly up, but it, I guess he hit me as I was flying. All right, if we can make it 700 more meters. Come on, sprint. I think it's better to sprint. I'll use a lot of food, but I think I'll make it there faster. As long as I don't die of hunger. <laughs> or thirst. And I hope this the city's not in between, because I'll have to go around the city. That'll make it even further. All right, we're halfway. <laughs> We've used two and a half haunches. Three haunches. Oh man, this is gonna be close. This could be the end of us, guys. I think if I get down to like one haunch, I'll just log off and wait till Landstrider or Raccoon are on and then come save me. Alright, 400 meters. I've used another haunch, so at this rate we'll be at two haunches when we get home. Oh no, the city. <laughs> Stay on my left city. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah. 300 meters. <laughs> oh, come on, we can make it. We can make it. No, we are not going to make it. Because as soon as you get down to, like, two haunches, you start, like, crawling even slower. Oh, no, we're already slow. <laughs> oh, no. Water. Food. Anything. 170 meters. Watch I get right to my door and die. <laughs> oh, I can see my base. Oh, glorious base with your food and your raspberry s peanut butter sandwiches. 100 meters. We can do it. Three haunches. Come on. Come on. We can make it. I got no way in. That's one thing. Because I have no... <laughs> I've got no pick. What am I supposed to do? I guess dig. Yeah, let's dig in there. Nope, nope. Bad. I'm stuck in my mob trap. I can't get off of it! <laughs> no! Alright, we'll go into the mob trap. Is there any mobs in there? There's no mobs in there. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Alright. We can break this. We can break this. Must go get food. Alright. We're safe. Made it with two haunches left. No problem. Let's eat a uh, jelly sandwich or two. Okay. Wow. 
so now it is uh, getting back there. Um, we need a really cheap pick just to uh, make it there. Why don't I have any just cobble? This will probably have one durability, but it will be enough to break my gravestone. Cobble, please. Uh, should I drink a bottle of water? I think I have a cold water bottle sitting right here. Cool. Wait till I get to 75 and drink that. Um, how am I gonna get out of here? Oh, I've got a... Alright, we'll fix this later, but at least no mobs can get in. There's still pigment spawn over there. I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> At least it's daytime, right? All right, pigment, no pigment to be found. No, dig this. Ooh, glorious stuff. All right, you, 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 sword. Okay. That's all my stuff. Let's get the uh, jetpack on. I think we can fly up and look for this spawner here. Yep, it's somewhere over there. And it's about night time. All right, tell you what, guys. Um, since I actually want to get something accomplished to the city and not just look for crap. I need to go to the other city, which is uh, city two. How can I show that? Edit. Enabled on. There we go. City two is somewhere. There it is. That way, 800 meters. And I need to go back to the pod and set up my clone again, which means I need to take some power with me. So I'm going to do that. Um, how far is the pod? The pod was a thousand meters. Okay. Pod. Where are you, pod? I know it's that way, right? It's just too far away. Let's get into our base and be safe. Um, but with my jetpack combined with my glider, I can get there pretty fast. So I'm going to do that really quick. And actually, it looks like we ran out of time. Huh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess we're going uh, city exploring again next episode. So um, I'll go get my clone set up again and uh, meet you guys in the city in episode 23, I think. Yeah, I think 23. This has been Fun Shanks for Crash Landing. If you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe button's free. And go ahead and tell all your friends to come watch. It's a lot of fun. Uh, thanks to all new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Hope you guys enjoy. Go check out Lord Raccoon, Landstrider, Palindrome, Nemson, and Ego, who are also all playing this map on the server with me. And I will see you guys next time. This has been Fun Shanks. Catch you later. Bye.